So last week, uh, it was revealed that Donald Trump had an alleged affair uh, with a porn star. Uh, now, during that, um, or I should say after that, uh, as Trump was getting ready to run for, re uh, run for election, his lawyer, it was revealed, had arranged a $130,000 payment in order to keep this information from coming out. Now, look, uh, I didn't do the story originally uh, when it came out because, look, uh, I'm going to be honest and say that for the most part, I didn't care. I mean, Trump cheating on his wife, that's his business, right? And not only that, but the way, uh, and this is information that came out as well, the way that he had sex, and that's definitely his business. I don't need to know about any of that. I'm not interested in any of that. Okay. Uh, so, now there are a couple of things that are interesting, and that might actually be substantial. And so that's what I want to talk about. And that is, number one, the hush money. Right. Uh, and then there's the issue of Fox News that decided that they wanted to kill the story. This is before anyone else had knew. OK, so let me give you some context. Let me run down what we know. Right. So here you have a porn star uh, with the name Stephanie Clifford. Right. She's known as Stormy Daniels. Uh, and back in 2011, she talked about an alleged affair that she had with President Trump back in 2006 uh, when he was running The Apprentice, right? Now, uh, she said the encounter between Clifford and Trump took place in July at a Nevada uh, golf tournament. The Wall Street Journal reported last week that Trump's longtime lawyer, Michael Cohen, had arranged a $130,000 payment to Clifford to prevent her from going public about the affair. So, again, that's a little bit of context here. Uh, is anybody shocked? Yeah, of course Donald Trump has had affairs. You think this is the first one? No, of course not. There's plenty. That in itself is not exactly news. And I think as progressives, it's not something that as a whole we're concerned about because, look, we don't care what you do in your bedroom. I don't care what Donald Trump does in his bedroom. I don't care what he does with other women. I don't care what he does with Melania. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Right. So, look, I I'm defending him because I, I don't want to know what it's like to have sex with him. I don't. <laughs> and look, I think the country already has a little bit of an idea because we've been getting fucked every day and it hasn't been great, to be fair. Okay, but no. The interesting thing in here is, is, aside from the money, who knew about it, right? And this is where it gets interesting. In October of 2016, sources tell CNN that Fox News reporter Diana Falzone Broader editors a story in which Daniel's manager confirmed the relationship between Trump and her client. Falzon also reportedly saw emails documenting the financial settlement to ensure that Donald Trump had never, or I'm sorry, to ensure that she had never spoke about it ever again. So this is Fox News, right? Now, why would a Fox News reporter come up with this report? Well, it turns out that during the primary, Fox News actually wanted to pursue the story. Because I guess they didn't want somebody like President Trump or, uh, you know, Donald Trump, candidate Trump, becoming their nominee. So they're like, okay, go find dirt on Trump. See what we can do to push him out of the race. Well, once he became the nominee, uh, that's when Fox decided that, oh, you, hey, you know the story that we had you go and, uh, 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 you know, try to find the dirt that we tried to, uh, we, we wanted you to find? Yeah, never mind. We're not going to run it. Now, they said, of course, that, oh, we just didn't have enough uh, information. Really? Again, there were confirmed emails uh, and then also a polygraph. Now, the significance of Fox killing the story, I think, is the part that can't be overstated, right? They killed the story that they believe would potentially hurt their candidate. I mean, look, if, if uh, MSNBC killed a story about Obama having an affair, you know whose hair would be on fire? The right wing. But then again, look, progressives don't necessarily care about this stuff unless it shows off some hypocrisy. So, look, if MSNBC did report it, a lot of liberals would be like, oh, that's pretty shitty of them. But are we going to talk about some policy? Because what's President Obama actually doing on policy? And I think that's what's important. That's, that's what progressives actually um, focus on. Now, the hypocrisy part... Obama never ran on being pro-family values, right? 
Obama never ran on being pro, um, you know, uh, like pro regular marriage, right? So the comparison here is, let's look at Scott Desjardins, for example. Okay, the Scott Desjardins, Republican, he ran as somebody who's pro-life, pro-family. Okay, all that stuff, right? This is the guy who made his mistress get an abortion. Well, that's obvious hypocrisy, right? And to be fair, I don't know if Trump necessarily ran as, oh, I'm pro-family, I'm pro-family. He's more of, I want to punish people who get abortions. Then again, he never made anybody get an abortion. So he didn't necessarily run as somebody who was a pro-family candidate. And nonetheless, you had a lot of evangelicals, most evangelicals, line up behind him. Most pro-life people lined up behind him. And that kind of shows you the tribalism that is inherent within the right wing that doesn't necessarily exist in the left wing, at least to some extent, right? I mean, Republicans will protect and vote for people like Roy Moore, for example, who was child molester, right? Well, the left, in a lot of cases, might be a little too quick to throw their own under the bus, right? Especially without, for example, giving a hearing or getting the facts. And sometimes there are, you know, false allegations and things like that. But I don't think that happens in the majority of, of, of cases, right? Nonetheless, it, what happens in the right wing is uh, we don't care what you do. We're going to protect you because you're one of us. You've got an R next to your name. So that tribalism, again, it's, uh, it, it does exist in both sides. But I think the right tends to amplify that a lot more. So, and I think that's the, the big reason why Fox News decided, you know what, we're going to bury this story because it's going to hurt Trump and we can't do that because we are the official propaganda arm of the Republican Party. Now, there's one more thing here, right? Speaking of that tribalism, uh, so if they had this affair, right? Now, if it was, you know, proven 100%, would it have made a difference in the supporters of the president? Absolutely not. No. If the Hollywood access tape showed us anything, is that no matter what they do, the candidate, uh, the, the, the president's supporters will always stick with their candidate no matter what. They're going to stick with their guy. Okay. Now, one more quick thing to the final thought that I want to leave you with here, right, that I thought was slightly interesting. Take it for what you will, but Daniel's in that 2011 interview, reportedly said that Trump uh, had basically told her that, hey, you know what? You remind me of my daughter. Oof. This is somebody that allegedly he's having sex with. You remind me of my daughter. Take it if, as you will. And uh, hopefully you don't get uh, images in your head. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.